I bring you greetings in the name of the Lord and of the Salvation Army Western Michigan Northern Indiana Division. I want to take this opportunity to update you and hopefully encourage you as we continue to face this coronavirus head on. In recent conversation with colleagues, the discussion turned to how this situation is different than any other disaster or emergency situation we have faced. Typically, there is a ground zero for such events, a flooded neighborhood, a devastated community, or a burned out building where we can report for duty. This crisis we are facing does not follow traditional patterns. The disaster is all around us, mostly invisible. We can see the effects of its presence and the devastation left in its path. It's important for us today to note the sacrificial and heroic efforts being taken by medical staff, first responders, and those designated as essential staff as they deal with the visible effects of this enemy. It's difficult to deal with something that you cannot see. Oftentimes, by the time you see its imprint or evidence of its existence, it's too late. This idea of a seriously silent and stealthy enemy is very concerning to many people, including me. It's hard to fight what you cannot see. There is so much about this disease that is unknown, and our scientists and medical professionals are working diligently to discover as much as they can so that we can develop a defense against its spread. Recently, there are songs to, or words to a song that has become hugely popular during this time that have been playing on my mind. The chorus says, Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is what you are. These words speak hope into a lot of people's lives. However, the words from this chorus that inflame my hope are these. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You see, there is an even greater force working in the background, often unseen. God is working even in these times, we just need to look for how he is moving. The danger we face is largely invisible and evidenced only by the pain and the devastation it causes. While we may wonder where God is in all of this, we can see the evidence of his work through the works of those who love him and serve him. Against the invisible threat that we are facing, we are seeing people loving one another. Families growing stronger, neighbors caring for neighbors, businesses putting the good of their community above profit. We're seeing tremendous efforts to remain connected while staying safely distanced. We are seeing churches empty, but their people in the trenches, loving and caring and sharing with others. This is the evidence that we know God is working through this crisis. Thousands of people are receiving food and necessary care. Many people are receiving regular wellness calls. We're being called on to serve in ways that we never thought of, and God is helping us rise to the occasion. Even though we don't see him, he is demonstrating that he is bigger and stronger than any enemy, seen or unseen. So I'd encourage you to continue to place your faith in God. Reach out and connect to your neighbors, your family, and your friends. Take time to look for God and work and continue to be ambassadors for good. Jesus told his disciples that people would know they were his followers by their love. So, show someone the love of Jesus today. <laughs>